hello everyone welcome back to another video once again so in this video we are going to talk about something called prefetching let's imagine a post or an app where we will have a list of posts and as soon as you click on any one of the post uh, use query normally it shows you the data or the sorry the loading screen and then the data now imagine the user have to go and back every time and every time he sees this loading and then the data so that is not good and not uh, user experience uh, efficient now to solve this issue what we do is let's get back to the code first so here what we will do is we will first create an app where we will show a list of uh, post and then what we will do is we will try to navigate one by one so before we start so first important thing which we need to import is called query client so query client is very uh, is is very important let's say when you want to play with the cache so first we have imported the query client and then we are using navigate here so for fetching all the post at once like only to display the data we will use the json placeholder and we will show all the post on the ui and then what we will do is we will fetch the individual post by id which uh, which will only show the data when we need it next what we will be doing is we will create an um, use query method which will fetch all the post and it will be displaying only all the post individual item but this individual item doesn't have any data to have the data what we do is we create another function called fetch post which as i mentioned it will fetch the post by id and it will show the data of that person selected id okay so once we have this ready next what we will do is we will create a non success method and we will pass the post which is nothing but the data which we receive from the uh, this one fetch post which actually is an array of post and what we will do is we will try to uh, loop over it one by one and then we will use query client uh, query prefetch query here so what we do is we will pass a query key post with id and then a query function which will do nothing but it will just pass the where, where we will just pass the id of that particular post so this post will anyway return the data of that particular post and it will pass it to the cache now let's uh, display some ui so in the ui as you can see as soon as the post is loading we will show loading all post and once the user is uh, once the post are loaded what we will do is we will loop over the post and then uh, we will create a list and in this list we are again learning a new method that is called get query data so what this get query data will do is it will check like this is just true for demonstration where i just wanted to show that the data which we are loading is from cache so when i say cache it means it's already loaded and there will be no fetching state again and again every time so here what we do is we will we will create a list of uh, post which we see and on any on each post we will uh, first check if the data is already in cache we will make it green which you can see on my left side okay so as soon and then we create a uh, anchor link where we will redirect them to the particular page so uh, with the id and in the test page what we do is uh, we will for like we, we, we will show where, when the post is loading the post uh, gets an id which we pass it from the state method then we access this state and then we uh, call this fetch post and then we return the particular post but here if we do this method it's not required in this one because here at the top we are anyway loading the use query and we are pre-populating pre the data so if i show you like once the data data is loaded then what we do we show the data 
with uh, uh, like the data so inner contents so now what we do is if I issue, if I go back to home and now like if I re reload the screen now if you see my uh, react dev tools you will see all the posts are automatically loaded and the data assigned to them is also present now here if as soon as I click on one your one of the post without downloading the data is already present and if I show you my network tab also now if I go back I click on this 8 the 8 data is anyway coming up but here we are not seeing any loading because this time it's fetching and here it's not loading as you can see all the data are already present in the cache so we need no more uh, like loading screen again and again so this is the beauty of prefetching now if i show you the normal method which i was telling so let's say instead of your uh, instead of using the this method if i remove this on success if i just uncomment it now if i show you the data post are loaded but as soon as i click on this a loading comes up and now if you see the cache is only loaded for this but now if i uh, slow my network to let's say slow 3g now as soon as i click on this it shows loading and then it shows the data so this is a normal method of use query by default but best is to use prefetching for all this so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any more doubts feel free to let me know and see you in my next video have a nice day thank you